Guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this one, we're gonna be taking a look at this thing here. So this is a tiny little brushless ESC and motor. Um, I'm hoping to put this in one of my one of my Orlandos. Um, the plan originally was to put it into the brand new uh, lorry that I made, but I didn't put it in there because they released the new the new sound system thing that was for the D4 D4L controller jobber 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 blah blah um so anyway i didn't put it in there so i've got this and i really want to use it because none of my orlandos none of my crawlers not one of them are brushless and there's a big hype about these tiny things and this i got from aliexpress and it's got a 150 reduction gearbox so every 50 times that the motor spins um this end here will only spin once so hopefully it will be quite good for, for both crawling and just driving around. Now I've been um, contemplating which, which, which car do we put it in? Um, and out of all of the cars that I think should have the best, the best ESC and, and motor combo um, for crawling, I think the best one, to be honest with you guys. Oh, it's got to be the Jimny, isn't it? So that was my Tamiya Jimny that I made. I did that on the channel somewhere couple of years back I think uh, and it's it's been an absolute beast of a crawler um, I did oh goodness me I did a lot of upgrades on this thing let me try and take the body shell off here we go so I added loads and loads and loads of um, lead inside the bottom there and it gave it so much so much stability it was unreal but this thing weighs so much it is crazy and all of that weight, unfortunately, for a little tiny Orlando servo, yeah, it, it didn't really like it. And, and despite the fact it's now starting to work again, I think it's chewed a couple of teeth up on the servo. So another thing we've got for this is hopefully the best little tiny servo that we can get. So this is a full metal digital precision ultra micro servo now it is bigger don't get me wrong it's way way bigger than than the one that's in there so there's going to be some modifying going on today guys um another thing that i'm toying with doing is number one i don't know if you can see that but these rods here i didn't have the correct rods and i made them out of carbon fiber so they've got a bit of flex on them which is all cool and i like that but i don't like the fact that the carbon fiber there's no real glue out there that i could use that the carbon fiber would actually work so you can see there i've i've added so many different types of glue and and over the years it's kind of stuck but it's not the best um so over here i have got a bit of rod now this is thinner this is thinner than than what's on an orlando so it will be kind of flexible but that's not a bad thing surely it's pretty strong i'm sure it's stainless steel as well um so it will be weather fine um so i'm i might change them over for a start another thing i'm talking with doing is the axles as well now it's going to involve um taking apart another orlando I'm going to end up ripping apart all my Orlandos to do this one. So we have got, look, we've got the old Shelf Queen there. Uh, one of the Shelf Queens. But someone broke all of the blooming, all of the teeth that are in, in the gears. I, I, when I was at a show last, someone, someone was going absolutely crazy with it and really ripped through it. And, and yeah, it's now... Um, it doesn't it doesn't do nothing inside of there so another thing in this video guys oh my goodness look we've got this now this is one of the um, upgraded metal um, gear sets that you can buy I can't remember what it's actually supposedly made of I think it's still of some description I'm not 100% sure perhaps I'll put that up on the screen now what it is um, but yes I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take apart this this metal metal axle to fit this anyway and whilst i'm taking it apart i might take it off of there and use those on my chimney because i love my chimney i've got an actual chimney guys so that's why it is i'm gonna make this my best crawler ever and already just the the little mods that i did this this out crawled all of my orlandos it was it was absolutely mad i keep looking at the lorry but yeah all of the orlandos 
out crawled them all, barring barring one, you know, the the XO one. That one's a, uh, a hell of a crawler. Um, but yeah, so what I might do is switch these axles from here onto here, put these axles from here onto there. Um, yeah, oh, I don't know. Um, and then go whack that in, whack that on. And you know something, guys? I'm tired about this, I'm tired about this. Inside of this kit here that I've had sitting on the side for years and years, we've got the reverse gearbox. So um, this basically stops the torque. Like when, when you drive, and if, if both of your drive shafts are going the same way, you, you tend to get body torque. So the, the car kind of twists to one side every time you accelerate. Um, and having this gearbox in it, this is a kit for a Ford F-150, one of them things. Um, and that one there has already got one on it. So, and this has been sitting in my desk for ages. It actually does belong to someone else. And uh, I've had it for years. And if he wants it, I've got that one in there, so you can have that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try and modify, I suppose, the whole entire chassis. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm thinking about this now, guys. Do you know, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upgrading this car. I'm blooming rebuilding it, and I'm giving it a new gearbox, new servos, new axles, um, new gears, uh, new ESC, new motor. Oh my goodness, that's, yeah, this 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 car's now going to be one of my most expensive Orlandos, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get down to it, eh? So I think to start is probably <laughs> take this one apart. Oh, yep, yep, yep. We'll take this apart, take that apart, whack them on there, take that apart, whack that in there. Then, then, then we'll go from there, I reckon, guys. Oh, my goodness, seven minutes already. I've been waffling seven minutes. Oh, that date time. So I have spent quite a while, actually. I forgot how... How annoying it is to uh, to change the gears on the metal axles. They're they're nothing like the plastic ones where you can just split them in half. You have to you have to put all the C clip and stuff right inside there um, as a whole thing. So that was really annoying. But yeah, here's the offending article. Look at that. Um, so that used to have teeth at some stage, but no more, no more. In fact, there's there's a few down there that I managed to pull out, and some more there, and bits and bobs. Um, the other bit wasn't too bad. There was, there was all teeth attached to it here, there, and everywhere. But I'm not going to trust putting that in. So I have managed to fit inside of this bad boy here. Managed to fit that um, that new set of gears. So that's one thing done. Yay! Um, the other car's now sitting on its roof over there, waiting for the axles to go back on. Uh, I'm not going to do that yet because I'm lazy. Um, and now I suppose it is time to look inside of this kit, this F-150 um, chassis rail kit. Now this is going to be completely different to what was on it. So I don't know how this is going to end out. I'm going to I'm going to try and use these chassis rails because they're the perfect length. Um, and I don't know, try and modify them onto this stuff. So let's, uh, let's open this up, shall we? We'll have a little look, see what we get inside. So inside the F-150 set, you get you get some bearings, that's nice. Uh, you get these skid plate things for the side made out of metal. You get some um, suspension rail bits and some some of the, the other um, rail stuff. I don't know what you call it. That's a motor mount. Um, so that is what holds the gearbox and the motor. This is the only bit, realistically. This and and that is going to be the only bit, I think, that I'm probably going to use from this whole entire kit that's worth, I don't know, it's probably, I think, about 60 quid, something like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's sitting around. Why not use it? So yes, we're gonna we're gonna attempt to take this part and see if we can modify some of that. Let's do that. Right guys, I'm in the workshop at the minute. There's loads of noise going on over there. Um, we are gonna need the mill, so I'm gonna have to tidy all that stuff up. Um, I've decided we're gonna use this thing, but what I'm gonna have to do is try and cut it down so it's effectively the same as that, but somehow not the same as that. 
Um, but yes, anyway, I'm gonna have to do some stuff over at the mill, so let's get this thing mounted on the mill. All right, so we did manage to successfully um, cut up this, this little motor plate here. So that's now on there. Motor is mounted, that's good news. Um, what's next? I don't even know. Um, let's, I suppose, try and get some axles mounted, I suppose. Let's do that. All right, guys, check this out. So look, I've mounted the axles on there. That's all good. Um, and I've also changed the wheels and tires to the aluminium wheels with the Patagonia tires on them. They're, they're a slightly, slightly larger tire than what's, what was on it before. Um, what else we've done, we've mounted the servo in the front there with some hot glue. Uh, that works very nicely there. Um, I've cut the springs on the front to give it more of a droop for how it is that it sits on the actual car itself. Uh, it needed that to, to be done. Um, what else have we done? We've added the receiver on there. That's for the Flysky FSG7P. And this is an FSR7P uh, receiver. It has got like seven seven different uh, ports on it. And I'm only, I'm only using two at the minute. I haven't even got any lights or nothing on this car. This is, this is just purely for crawling, guys. Uh, what else have we done? And what else have we got to do? So I've got to tidy up the cables. I've added the... This is the little um, ESC for the brushless motor so that I think I'm going to be mounting that literally on the top Bosch just there I whack a zip tie around that tidy up all of these cables the battery that was in it that I was using was this tiny little 120 milliamp that will not do um, so I'm getting rid of that one and I'm going to throw in it one of these nanotechs I think it was a 300 milliamp uh, 2s cell there so that's going to be going in and that'll obviously give it a bit more bottom end weight if you look under there i've had to cut off the little nubs that sit on there and over there so the battery can slide forward a little bit more got to make sure that it doesn't obviously rub on the drive shaft there but apart from that um yes so we are pretty much there it's all been bound to the controller which is good news uh, body needs to go on afterwards and I might quickly touch up a few of these little bad bits there That is the colour of my car. Look at that. How, how nice is that? Cashmere blue um, What a horrible name, but yes, I'm gonna touch up them whack that on there And I think that we're gonna be done guys. So it's almost montage time. Let's crack it on Guys, it is complete, check this out. So I'm gonna go and take this out now um, and see if that brushless motor and servo are up to the job. Let's try it.
we are back indoors now. So I've been out for a little run with this. Um, it's absolutely horrible weather outside at the moment, so there's not really very many nice places to take it. Um, but either way, this motor and ESC combo, yes, definitely for Orlando hunters. It's almost like it gives you the, the bottom end of the sort of like 80 to 100 RPM motors. So you've got the real slow crawl ability. Um, and it gives you that range right the way up to, I'd say, probably a 500 RPM motor. So you've got all of that from one little motor. And uh, that is absolutely spot on perfect, if you ask me. So that is now going to go, prize of place, right up there, along with some of the other ones. And that leaves me one last thing to do, and that's say thank you very much for watching, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't done it already, please subscribe, hit that bell icon so you don't miss the next one. And like the video, so I'll do some more. Right, see you on the next one. Bye.